Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. What an awesome day. So we got some really big news about the new map, Sunder Patton. We got our release date and it's going to be June 18th, which is awesome. That is coming right up. I really thought it would be later in June or even early July. So to see it's going to be releasing soon and we won't have to wait much longer, that is the best news ever. And EW did do a live stream today. Jaxi Beard showed us all 13 species on the new map and some of them guys you're going to be blown away because they do look incredible okay we're going to start our recap of each of the species well every one of the species except the gray lag goose i'm not going to show those in today's clips but you guys have seen them before they are going to be on this map along with this little bunny it's some kind of hair and i think it does look adorable I love when they do a retouch on animals that we've had in the game before, and we are getting two of those. So the black buck, they're going to be on the new map along with the water buffalo, and both are getting a touch up and wow. Guys, they both look 100% better, and I can't wait to get some diamonds and rares. We're also getting this species, and I'm not sure if they're a species of antelope. I've never heard of them before, but they're called uh, Nilgai, and we're also getting blue sheep, which I figured we would, and this right here is a really small one. These adorable little creatures are called the Northern Red Mutt Jack, and we have saw them on the trailer. I mean, they are so cute, guys. It's going to be kind of hard to shoot one of these things because they are so adorable. Sure, they look a little odd, but also super cute. I mean, look at that face. They have these weird little fangs, little horns, look kind of like a deer, like a dog, kind of prehistoric, all the above, and the models look absolutely amazing. And now we have the beautiful, photogenic, infamous Tibetan Fox. I'm so happy they've added these to the game. And these models look spot on. Good job, EW, because they really do look very similar uh, to how they look in real life. And how funny are these guys? I mean, they look indifferent. They look angry. They look completely over it. I can't wait to see what kind of rares they have and also to get my first diamond that's going to be a challenge and a lot of fun. And now an animal that has been requested for a very long time, the tar. So they are coming to Nepal and this is going to be our new great one. And that really surprised me. I'm still not sure how to feel about that. Let me know in the comments how you feel. Uh, next week we are going to get a look at the great one models. Now hopping into some animals that are some of my favorite species on the new map. And this is one of them, the Barasinga. This deer looks phenomenal. I love the antlers and I cannot wait to hunt these guys. We all know the tigers are going to be the stars of this new map, but a close second for me has to be the wild yak. I cannot wait to hunt these guys, and we found out today that they are going to be aggressive as well, so that just makes it even better. Looking at the models, they are really impressive. I love the fur. I love their horns. Jaxie showed us this albino, and they are absolutely beautiful. So we did get some interesting news about the snow leopard. We found out that they are going to be pretty rare. And you know how we only get 16 tigers per map, which is not very many? Well, Jaxie let us know today that we're getting even fewer snow leopards per map. So to find a diamond or a rare of these guys, what a challenge is that going to be? But I think that that is incredible, and it's just what this game needs. We need something new, and it's going to really give us something to work at and look forward to and now for my favorite animal on this new map the bengal tiger so look at this guys they are beautiful they are absolutely beautiful and they are dangerous they're going to be aggressive and they are going to hunt us and that is going to be so much fun look at that melanistic just look at it guys absolutely stunning i can't wait to see one of these things and i i just can't imagine seeing one in game there's my favorite the white i can't wait to get that one i mean with nine rare fur types nine rares you have the albino the melanistic which are very very rare and then you have seven others you have the golden the pseudo melanistic just so much so much and i know we only get 16 tigers per map but with nine rares, I'm sure that's going to keep us busy. 
And right here is an albino with its little pink nose and huge teeth. Oh, oh my god, guys. I'm so excited. I really am. I have not hunted tigers on a game since back on the old uh, Cabela's games. So it has been a while. To end the video, I am going to show you all a clip of Jaxie getting attacked by a tiger, which was terrifying and hilarious. And I'm also going to play the release trailer. I hope you all enjoyed the video. And thanks so much for watching. Oh, my goodness. Three, two, one. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Welcome to Sundarpatan, Nepal, a one-of-a-kind hunting reserve that is both beautiful and challenging. Here, you'll find animals you can't see anywhere else and experience the thrill of the hunt like never before. There are three regions in Sundarpatan, each with their own distinct climate, wildlife and rich cultures. In the middle is Pahar, with its tempered climate, characterized by the terraced rice fields and dense, colorful forests where our national flower, the rhododendron, blooms in the wild. You'll spot the Tibetan fox, a clever hunter with a face you can't forget. To the south is the Terai region. This lush landscape owes itself to the heavy rains that frequent it. In the dense forests and savannas, it's easy to move unseen, but the same goes for the reserve's top predator, the Bengal tiger. It hunts its prey by stalking from behind, and that could be you. Finally, to the north is the Himal region. These might not be the tallest mountains in Nepal, but don't be fooled. The Himal is a hard place to survive. It's this hostile landscape that the snow leopard calls home. Skilled at stalking and hiding, you'll need more than just tracking scales to spot one. Sundarpatan is not for the faint of heart, but if you're up for adventure and up to the challenge, there's nowhere else like it. Welcome to Nepal. Welcome to Sundarpatan.